Hey everybody, it's me, Zanya. Welcome, I'm so glad. Welcome to my kitchen. Yay, it's Sunday night. Thank you for joining me. Now, some of you, maybe you know me from watching me on public television, or maybe you've attended one of my seminars or my online seminars or worksite wellness program through your work or on your own, or maybe you've been cooking from one of my cookbooks, the Lickety Split Meals cookbook that's been out over 20 years, or the brand new Eat Real cookbook. Either one, either way, or maybe, this is our first time meeting. Either way, I'm so glad you're here. Thanks so much for joining me. I have for you the top three, my personal top three weight loss tips that I cannot wait to share with you. And I'll tell you, I personally, I've been a dietitian nutritionist now for over 30 years. I won't say how many. And I personally know what it's like to not be able to fit into any of my clothes. I know what it's like to want to wear sweats all summer long because I don't want to be seen wearing shorts. But I also know what it's like to feel really good in my skin. And I feel really good in my clothes and have great energy and just feel really good. And I am so stoked. I love working with people and helping them to achieve the same. So that's what this is about. And uh, yeah, we're talking about my three top personal weight loss tips that I love to share with others that works like magic for others as well. But if you want to lower your cholesterol, you want to get your blood pressure down, you want to control diabetes. In fact, turn around a type 2 diabetes diagnosis. Ha! It happens right here in the kitchen, my friends. Uh, this is where we turn around at. So uh, at the end of the program today, two people win a cookbook. So we'll be announcing for that. So stay tuned for that. And then also, um, tonight, if you have questions, you can chat them, find the little chat uh, icon and you can type comments. I'll do my best to answer your questions at the end, but I want to make sure I get through all my points with you uh, tonight before we do that. But um, I think we're ready to get rolling, are we? All right, I want to begin with three little quiz questions for you. So I want to share my slides with you and um, we'll just uh, tell me what you think. So this is a true or false or what I call deal or no deal. So what I wanted to go ahead and do is ask you, true or or false? Um, let's see, our first question, studies show, true or false, that all nine of the currently approved U.S. food dyes have various health concerns from causing cancer to provoking hyperactivity. True or false? You're probably thinking, I don't know, true or false? Okay, let's, and you can raise your hand. Actually, do you see over in the chat box where you can raise your hand? If you think it's true, raise your hand. I look at that, whoa. Whoa, I see, a, whoa, that's a lot of hands up. Wow, that was, that was cool, I like that. Okay, guess what, you're right. You're absolutely true. It's, it's absolutely true that we have studies that show that all nine of the currently used US food dyes have various health concerns from causing cancer and provoking hyperactivity. Wow, okay, next one, true or false? What do you think? Um, let's see our next one. Diet soda consumption has been linked to bone demineralization, increased risk of stroke, dementia, glucose intolerance, irritable bowel syndrome, and Crohn's. Give me a hand if you think, look at that. Oh my goodness, look at all those hands. And guess what? Um, it's 100% true. You are right that diet soda consumption has been linked to bone demineralization, increased risk of stroke, dementia, glucose intolerance, irritable bowel syndrome, and Crohn's. Wow. Oh my goodness. All right. So are we ready for the next one? Deal or no deal, true or false? Tell me what you think. Let's see. I'm not sure why it's not advancing. There we go. Eating one mushroom a day has been shown to decrease breast cancer risk by, tell me, give me a hand. I've got a few hands. That's great. Are you, wait a second. Are you sure eating one, just one mushroom a day? has been shown to decrease breast cancer by 34. Are you taking your hands down <laughs> by 34%? Well, the real answer is no, it's not 34%. Do you know what the real answer is? Are you kidding? The real answer is 64%. Yeah, yeah, mushrooms, ladies and gentlemen. We wanna make those happen. And uh, it's like, are you kidding me? Yes, and it can just be a white button mushroom, but you want to have them cooked. That's for sure, more than raw. We'll talk more about that in a minute. The bottom line is food is powerful stuff. And more accurately, real food, real food is really powerful stuff. And that's what today is about. And 
I'd love, you don't have to take notes today. I will absolutely email you, or if you're watching this on Facebook, then it'll be on that. I'll post the, um, I'll post these slides and all these are hot links. So you can go through and check these references. Don't just take it from my word. This is all backed up stuff that I'm sharing with you. So it's all there for you. All right, so what is real food? I kind of throw it around like everybody knows what it is. And real food, it grows from the tree, from the ground, or it grows from a tree, or it grazes on the prairie or swims in the ocean. It's minimally processed. It's as close to nature as possible. There is nothing good has been taken out and nothing bad has been added in. And when you look at the ingredients on food labels, that's what you see, good taken out and bad put in. And you'll see that by any ingredient that doesn't really look like real food. So I want to share with you today eating real food. And you think, well, okay, so I get healthier. I, you know, what kind of changes can you expect? Because when you start changing, all three of my tips today are about real food. They're, they're real food tips. And when you start eating more food, it fills you up before it fills you out. It is amazing what it does for you from a weight standpoint. I want you to know about Tammy. Tammy started my Eat Real program last January, okay? She was fed up and she said, I gotta do something and she couldn't sleep at night and her cholesterol was way crazy high and dude, she started working with me. She did this Eat Real program that we're talking about and uh, she just started focusing. She didn't do keto. She didn't do totally vegan. She just said, okay, all food groups I can have but I'm gonna have them in moderation and I'm gonna start trimming my cravings for sweets by using real food. And guess what? Here's Tammy, less than a year later, but well, now it's a year later, but she dropped 90 pounds. Her cholesterol has dropped 60 points. She can sleep at night now. She no longer has constant hunger cravings. Her energy level is crazy high. And uh, that's pretty exciting. So I appreciate that. Way to go, Tammy Hauser. That's like awesome. So what are my top three weight loss tips? Are you ready for them? Are you ready? Okay, we'll go full screen. And uh, here's what I want to share with you. Number one, number one is our first tip is, is that you snack smart. You're like, of course, Sonia, we need to snack smart. But I want to ask you right now, in your house, in your cupboards, what do you have in your fridge? Is it a health haven? Is it easy to eat? nourishing foods, real foods, or is there a lot of processed stuff? Is there a lot of stuff in a box that when you look at the ingredients, you'd be better off eating the box than what's in it? <laughs> or it's foods that you can't stop eating. Like I remember I used to buy wheat thins because I thought they were a really good healthy food. And I don't know about you, but the box says, get your own box. And I've eaten a whole box of wheat thins before. And they're compulsive. You just can't stop eating them. And I want you to know that I want to give you ideas for curtailing this because I've been there, done that. I remember I was at a shower for my nephew who is now 20 years old. So it was 20 years ago. And I said, how can I help out with the shower? And they're like, oh, open up that box of wheat thins and put it on that platter. I'm like, okay, sure. And I opened up the box of wheat thins and I poured it on the platter and I looked at it and I was like, wow, there's that many wheat thins in a box? Because I've eaten a whole box before. And I had no idea it had that many wheat thins in it because I just thought I ate a few because, you know, when you're eating them out of the box, you don't really notice. I know that addictive nature about food and real food can help you fix that. And so let me share with you how one of my A number one snacks. Okay, are you ready? My A number one snack that really helps curtail um, snack cravings and how you feel and stuff. Here, let me uh, put this right here so we can have this right up front and center for us. Um, let me just kind of set these aside for a second and let me just share with you that I know what you're going to say, veggies. And you know, if you have veggies beautifully and attractively readily made, I will tell you, if we don't have this thing full of veggies, our house isn't complete. And it's like, pick up some snap peas, pick up some peppers. And when they're beautifully displayed like this, you'll eat them. And when you have a good dip to go with them. So I'll share that in a minute, but let's talk about what's in this box. First of all, we have cucumbers. I love those mini baby cucumbers, mini, you know, they're, they're minis and I just cut them into strips. They're great. They're great. And then carrots, of course, and radishes love the crispness of radishes. And 
um, that real food nutrition and crunch does amazing things for your, your turning around your cravings. It really does. And then these are sugar snap peas, or they just call them snack peas. And uh, that's right here. Um, when you look at the label, snap peas, just like that. I mean, they're, they're awesome. Okay. These are, these are terrific. All right. And um, then there, oh, I got a story to tell about these. <laughs> when I'm grocery shopping, sometimes I'm really hungry and I always look for something I can eat while I'm shopping. So I'll buy these and I'll open them up and I'll start snacking on them while I'm shopping. And then when I get to the checkout lane, it'll be like empty. And then I put it on the <laughs> conveyor belt and it's going through and the lady's like, an empty bag? I go, yeah, just ring it up. And she goes, okay, do you want the bag back? I go, no, you can throw it away. <laughs> she throws it away I'm like, I was hungry, you know, had to have something. Okay, and, and then these are sweet peppers. These are not hot. They're totally yummy, delicious, sweet. There's a few seeds at the top, but you can just eat them like an apple from the bottom up and they're fabulous. Now, you're probably saying, all right, but, well, can I have some ranch dip? Well, if you need some ranch dip, go right ahead. But I wanna tell you, you want protein and you want fiber and you wanna do what the Mediterraneans do. So what do the Mediterraneans do? Do they eat ranch dip? No. What do they eat? They use hummus. Hummus is going to give you protein and fiber and so many nutrients, so many great nutrients. So I encourage you to make it. Now in the Eat Real Cookbook, there is an absolute recipe that you can make homemade hummus, save a ton of money making it yourself. I encourage you to make a double batch. That's what we do. Brrr, put it in, do it again, another one. And we will do that often on the weekends. But if we're too stressed out, too busy to do it, we're not gonna, just going to go without. You got to have hummus. And so you can either buy regular hummus. Now, I shop at Aldi, and I will sometimes get this, but I often get the organic. Um, so that's up to you to be able to get, this will cost a little bit more. But the organic, when you look at the ingredients, yes, it's not with pesticides and herbicides, but you know what? This particular brand, there's a few, four preservatives that they use. This one has no preservatives. So that's the benefit to this. When you read the ingredients, it's totally clean. So this one's like making it at home. So there's my tips for you. Now, you say, okay, Zanya, that's well and good. You got some nice looking snacks. Those were pretty. I liked them, um, but just what I thought she was going to tell me, eat vegetables. What about when you have a sweet craving? Well, when you have a sweet craving, I know you all have a nice giant fruit bowl, right? You've got a fruit bowl in your kitchen. I hope you do. Uh, I always do. And you see it, you eat it. If it's crammed off in your refrigerator, you won't always see it. Um, and also tomatoes. I use those with my veggies, but I use those at room temperature. Never refrigerate your tomatoes. Okay. These are so, they will lose half of their delicious sweetness if you refrigerate them. I wanted to mention that. And they're so sweet. They're like, take care of a sweet craving. But what if you have a sweet craving? When you're eating fruit regularly, you don't get them very often. But once in a time, once in a while I do. So I want you to tell you, would I have a sweet craving? I have cherry pie. That's right. Homemade cherry pie that I make in about 15 seconds. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make for you cherry pie. We have a dried cherries. And yes, they put sugar on them because these are tart Montmorency cherries and they're really tart, but it's okay. There's a little bit of sugar on them. And then we have some, some uh, we have an almond. Okay, so we're going to take an almond. We're making our cherry pie. It's got like a little crust, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to put one cherry on top and one cherry on the bottom. And then what we're going to do is we're going to smash it together, kind of like rolling pin. You're rolling pinning it. Okay. And then... Mm. real food cherry pie my brain is like the pleasure centers in my brain are just totally electrified and i'm like wow that was sweet but it was tart and it was yummy and it tastes exactly like cherry pie and i think wow i think i'll have one more and i make myself one more and i savor it and then i'm done because i'm like oh my gosh that's like shut down no more sugar craving no more sweet craving so did i promise it was going to be delicious did i promise it was going to kick your sugar cravings to the curb i'm going to tell you it turns it around it actually changes things so these do not do not let yourself get in the habit of handfuls and throwing them in your mouth throwing them in your mouth been there done that that's a good 
program for weight gain. I will say that. I want you to be conscientious and really listen to your body. Really listen and let food nourish you and savor food. And, and that's, that, makes, that makes the difference. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. All right. So let's summarize that tip. Our, our first tip is snack smart, right? Snack smart. Let me do a little time check. Okay. We're at 715. This is good. So our first tip was snack smart. All right. Are we ready? And oh, let me just say, you know, I know you like to know, like, okay, I get the idea that it's more nourishing. There's more vitamins and minerals. I got the idea that you know, that this is going to shut down a, a sweet craving. I'm not going to eat so many more calories. So if you have that cherry pie instead of cherry pie, that's an easy 200 calorie savings. If you have these veggies and hummus instead of crackers and hummus, that's a lot of calories. Don't do it. Pita chips. Don't think that's healthy because you need the veggies. I only eat veggies with hummus because it's a calorie. It's just too much. But if you, instead of chips, instead of two granola bars because you can't eat just one or putting all that together though that will knock down and save you uh 200 calories 200 calories a day now 200 calories a day you're not going to weigh less than the next day not the next two days or three days but let me tell you 200 calorie savings every day when it's your habit in a year's time 20 pounds yeah 20 pounds in a year by making a 200 calorie smarter snack choice, but making healthier snack choices automatic. And that's by changing what's in your house. I have a lots more snack ideas. We could go on and on and on. I could fill this whole thing with snack ideas, but we're gonna move on to my next one, okay? So here we go. Number two is have a morning hydration routine. What's your morning hydration routine? Do you, you go in coffee? And you can have coffee, but you need to be hydrated when you have that coffee. So every single night, uh, I fill this up with water. Okay, I know it's probably not the most attractive water bottle, but it means a lot because it's my son's high school and LCS, Lenore Christian School. I love it, and it has my name on it. And um, room temperature water for me, just so in the middle of the night, if I didn't get thirsty, but in the morning, I have my water right away. So when I'm getting ready in the morning, I try with all my might to drink 16 ounces. Sometimes it's only 8 or 12. But I try to drink all 16. I try to be to that hydrated before I walk in the kitchen. So when I walk in the kitchen, I need to do my second part of my hydration, and that's before coffee, okay? The next part of my hydration routine, and this, is, this has changed my life. But I used to tell you to use something called Emergency. It has 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C. I, I used to be kind of like that product, but the ingredients aren't as clean as I'd like it to be. And then this company said, well, what do you, will you try out our whole food product? It's, it's called Ruby, and Ruby it comes in these boxes. You buy it online. They ship it to you. It's freeze-dried whole fruits and vegetables in really neat combinations. And it's stuff that you don't always get and buy yourself. And it's freeze dried, compacted, and there's four servings in each envelope. Four servings of fruits and vegetables, two fruits, two vegetables in each package. And I said, I don't believe you. And they were like, yeah, it is. And when I looked at it, checked into it, and it's whole fruit and vegetable. They get the fiber, everything's in there. So pretty great stuff. You look at the ingredients and it is real food ingredients in these. I mean, eh, I don't know if you can see that. It is real food ingredients. Let me just, let me read the purple one to you. How about that? Check this out. It's blueberry, grape, blackberry, banana, strawberry, broccoli, zucchini, spinach, acai, we don't get acai, but it's a really magical superfood, and makai berry, makai berry. So it's like, wow, all that in here, this is called focus, which is really good for the brain and really good for focusing, which I can always use. So here, I'm gonna make it for you really quick because I do something really special with it. So you just, I mean, this is, it travels so great. I mean, taking fresh berries with you uh, somewhere, it's hard to do, right? So you're getting the, this in here and you just shake it up. <laughs> but let me tell you this, um, I'm going to supercharge it because what I do is I want to have a quarter teaspoon every single day, part of my hydration routine of turmeric. Now this is organic turmeric. I buy it online. You don't find these big containers at the store online. My husband and I bought this three months ago. Look at how much turmeric we've consumed. <laughs> the two of us. So what we do is there's a quarter teaspoon in here that I just leave it in there. Okay. Because that's a challenge every morning to find the quarter teaspoon. I leave it in there and I'm going to add one quarter teaspoon. Now you think, is that enough? Yeah. It's a good amount per person each day and it won't overpower the taste or the flavor of this drink. And so I've got my, uh, 
it, and remember, you, you know what turmeric is good for, right? It's a huge, huge anti-inflammatory. And that's what we want. We want our face, our body, reduce and bring down inflammation, arthritis, many diseases, heart disease, so many diseases, cancer are at the core of inflammation. When you cut yourself, it gets red. That's inflammation that's doing its job. But when we have inflammation running amok, so having a quarter teaspoon of turmeric every single day in a tasty way, because I can guarantee, this is a habit, I can guarantee it. I don't taste it, it tastes great. Now, turmeric, you can increase its effectiveness by 2,000% by combining it with pepperine that's in pepper. So I grind into this drink. One, two, three, four. That's right. I put four. pepper in my drink. You won't even taste it. So the pepper is now with the turmeric. And I'm going to put the lid on this and I'm going to shake it up. And I'm going to have my four servings of whole fruits and vegetables first thing in the morning. And it's way different than juice because juice doesn't have the fiber. This has the fiber and it has really good combinations of both fruit and vegetables. And it's tasty. It's there. All of them are good. The orange, the green, the red. I always change what my favorite is. So there you go. This is Ruby, the root of vitality. Something like that's where they got their name. And uh, you can order it online. And I'm going to email you the link. It's called say, it's save15.goruvy.com. I'll email you the link and you can look at it. And um, they asked me to do a video if I liked it. And I did a video for them. You can look under stories and watch it. And I'm telling you, it's really delicious stuff. I love it. It's part of my every morning. So my morning hydration routine, because if I don't do my morning hydration routine, I feel off all day. It's part of my energy. It's part of my focus. It's, it completes me. Okay. So the morning hydration routine, I hope you have it too. It guarantees you me not my turmeric. It guarantees me all these antioxidants that are already in it, whether you add the turmeric or not, but uh, I really like it. So your hydration routine, that's antioxidant galore. That's, uh, that's one of my, one of my tips. So are you ready? That was number two. How are we doing on time? <gasps> We're doing great on time. So let's just go next then to ladies and gentlemen, my tip number three. Tip number three is I want you to cook real food dinners. Mm -hmm. Cook real food dinners. You know how many times that you hit the drive through because you just don't know what to make for dinner? You know how many times you order a pizza, do the drive, take, carry out? Well, I'm not saying never, but could we decrease that and have more home meals at home? I've worked hard to create with Krista Sanderson, who you'll, we'll hear about in a second, but we've created grocery lists and everything to make it easy for you. But let me just share with you um, one of my favorite, favorite things that Krista, bless her sweetheart, Krista Sanderson has changed my life. I met her four years ago, and that woman has done a lot for me, let me tell you. She, I used to think that sweet potatoes, remember sweet potatoes are like one of the core things for the five groups of longest lived people in the, in the world. Uh, in the blue zones, these people live, centarians, they're 100 year old, they eat sweet potatoes. I wanna ask you, do you have sweet potatoes every week? Do you have them twice a week? We need to have sweet potatoes. That's right, we do. So uh, I wanna encourage you to do that. So what we've got going on is a Southwest stuffed sweet potato. Oops, we're seeing Scott, Scott's face. <laughs> All right, now we're seeing Scott's food. All right, hey, the food cam is on the program, love it. But it's, um muted, but that's what we want. Okay, good. So check this out. I have already chopped a red onion. Can you chop a red onion? It's about half a red onion for this dish. And I also used uh, a can of black beans. Can you open a can? I think you can open a can, can't you? Pretty easy to do. I happen to buy organic. Um, I've rinsed and drained these already, and I went ahead and added it. And then also corn. I just used some frozen corn, one cup. I do happen to buy organic and I encourage you to buy organic when you can, when you can. And I'm gonna go ahead and add um, a half a teaspoon of cumin. And the flavors of this dish are astronomical and it's just red onion and cumin and a little bit of salt and pepper. And if you've got no salt added black beans, you can add a little bit of salt. If they did have salt in it, add less. But then um, some black pepper to this. 
And that's all the flavoring that's going in this, except we're gonna also put salsa on top of this. But the flavors for the sweet potato, now let me ask you, how many of you, when it comes to a sweet potato, you're thinking, don't you just put cinnamon on a sweet potato? Uh, do you really do, you, you know, like, are you saying cumin and salsa on a sweet potato? That's what I said. Okay, so Krista Sanderson blew my mind because I really was not in the habit of doing that. And so how do you cook your sweet potatoes? One, you can microwave it in the microwave. This went three minutes until it's nice and squishy, but you can also cook them in your crock pot. Check this out. You can cook them in your crock pot. It takes about four hours on low. You just scrub them, put them in here. You don't add any water. You don't add anything. And you let those babies just cook up and see those are nice and tender. So you can do it either way. All right, so the crock pot is pretty amazing. I love it for that. And I will cook up several and just have them in the refrigerator and add them to things, add them to scrambled eggs in the morning, uh, chop them up to warm them up a little bit, put them on a salad. Oh, they're just great. Okay, so we have our sauteed black beans corn. And so we are going to go ahead and cut our, our sweet potato like so. And we are going to turn the stove off. What do you mean, Mr. Coco? You think we're gonna blow up around here? All right, so there's our nice tender sweet potato. I know what you're thinking. What? We're gonna put this cumin-y flavored black beans and corn on top? Oh yeah, talk about your mind being blown. When Krista told me this, I was so skeptical. I was like, I, I don't know what planet you're from, girl. I don't know. And so, and the skin is on the bottom. You can eat the skin or not eat the skin. That's up to you. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to top this with some salsa. And now we give you a recipe to make homemade salsa. And in the summertime, you wanna to totally do that. Salsa fresca, it's easy to make. And I highly encourage it. But um, if you would like, I would encourage you to just try some homemade fresh. This is from Aldi, a nice uh, fresh salsa. And I buy the organic, or you can buy this right here. This is your, uh, a nice canned, uh, jarred either way. I, I have like two or three of these jars in my cupboard all the time for backup and then I'll have some fresh uh, But it doesn't keep as long, but the fresh is very nice. So we're putting on our salsa on top and The next thing that you want to do is I want you to get friendly with avocados. You might be already So in my fruit bowl, I've got all kinds of things of what um, let's try this avocado right here When you press on it around the neck here around the stem, it just prints indents a little bit. And so I think this one's gonna be really good inside. So we cut around like so, and then you twist it. Hey, it's perfectly good, I love it. A nice, perfect uh, avocado. And then to remove the seed, now some people tell you to lay it on the ground and go like this, but I do it holding my hand and I have never cut myself, And uh, but don't do it after you've had wine. <laughs> I guess people have hurt themselves. Okay, so now I'm going to slice nice little wedges onto my avocado. And uh, the skin is quite firm, so I'm not going to cut my hand. It stops me. Now I could checkerboard this if I wanted to, or I can keep it as nice uh, slices. I'm gonna use this big spoon, just like this. And we're gonna just run that around the edge. And we are going to put our slices right on top. And now what I wanna do is, now what I wanna do, we're gonna top that with just a little bit of cilantro, like so. You can tear up your cilantro, kind of put it on top. If you don't have any cilantro in the house, or uh, if you are like not so sure, like if you're not so sure about your avocado, like they go bad on you too quick or they're too hard and they're not ripe, I, you get good with it the more you use them. I will allow you, I will suggest that you can cheat and you can buy at Aldi or lots of grocery stores, but I'm an Aldi fan. Check out the clean ingredients on this. Uh, this is totally clean ingredients. Let me read them for you. It is Haas avocados, distilled vinegar, contains 2% or less of water, jalapenos, peppers, salt, dehydrated onion, and granulated garlic. This is clean ingredients. This is as good as you could make it at home. 
and you just pinch off the bag, squeeze it out, and by golly, you've got yourself a really great dinner. In fact, let me show you how this works. It's, um, you know, I mean, just want you to know that these are really awesome. So some scissors come in handy. And what I love about these is that you can like, just go like this. See how it's, are you watching? Yeah, you are watching. So it's just squeeze it out like so, like so. And this is gonna be, have even more flavor than the fresh avocado. And then what I do is I go like this. And then you just get a clip like this and you just clip that off and no air goes in there. And you won't get that browning that you get with guacamole. So I have to admit, I like the convenience. As look as but queen, I can't help but tell you about certain things when they're great little simple little tips for you. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's compare. Here's the Southwest stuffed sweet potatoes that are in the cookbook. Mmm, looks pretty good. That's Krista Sanderson. She did the styling with this with the food, with the food photographer. Did they do a great job? They did a great job. Okay, here's the Zanya Foco version. <laughs> Not too shabby. I think it's pretty good. And uh, so I'm going to tell you that when you taste this, the flavors are amazing. They're just amazing. All right. So let's go ahead and I want to go back to sharing my slides with you. And I think we'll, we're done with the food cam. Are we not done with the food cam? I think we are. And um, I want to take a minute. I have made this says I've made this recipe page 53 and eat real and it is delicious and so easy. You're making me hungry, Zanya. Yay. <laughs> I'm so glad about that. Avocados keep well in the fridge. I like the bag of minis. Oh, not see. I don't know where that went. Oh, they just clicked out. That's okay. Oh, stop share. Okay, good. It says I love the bag of minis. Um, let me see some other comments. Zanya, have you had Japanese sweet potatoes roasted? Mm. Uh, no, I haven't. Krista Sanderson, I think you're right. Oh, it says from Krista. She says, yes, I think she said, just add about one tablespoon of oil in the pan first. Oh, yeah, I forgot that I told you that I started with one tablespoon of oil in there. Thanks, Krista, for letting people know that. That's good. And then um, from Debbie, I've made this recipe, page 53 and eat real. Oh, we already said that. Okay, um, let's scroll some other comments. Is there more? Um, Beverly says, are there any? The eat real cookbook is stunning, motivational, and so helpful. Mm. Thank you for that. All right, so giving you some ideas. Um, let me see, what were my three things that I wanted to share with you? I said, number one, and if we can share my slides, that'd be great. Um, let's see, number one is we're gonna snack smart with real food and it'll really shut off your hunger cravings. It'll do great. And number two, have a morning hydration routine. Yes, indeed. Oh wait, here we go. Can you advance it? advance the slide. There we go. So number one, go ahead and advance it. Snack smart with real food. You'll lose 200 calories, save 200 calories, 20 pounds in a year. And number two, have a morning hydration routine. It's water plus nutrients and you will think right and you'll feel right. Um, you absolutely will. And I'll send you the link to the Ruby um, in my follow-up email. I'm going to follow up email the slides and everything for you. So you can give it a try if you'd like. All right. And number three, my number three tip is cook real food dinners. No more takeout, 20 pounds in a year. So I'm going to tell you, that's a, that's a lot, some lot of good choices right there for you. All righty. So I want to tell you about Krista. Uh, Krista Sanderson has stolen my heart. Um, she has inspired me to new heights. I love these recipes in Real. Even though Lickety Split Meals is quick and easy, but the, the flavors are more traditional American, whereas Eat Real really captures and takes flavors to new heights. And we also use so many new superfoods in here that make it so much more exciting. So thank you, Krista, for turning me on to the Southwest Stuffed Sweet Potato. Uh, my friend Jeff texted me on Christmas morning and he goes, hey, he said, guess what I'm serving for Christmas uh, dinner, Lor brunch. And I was like, what? Southwest Stuffed Sweet Potato Bar. He said it was a huge hit. They all got to put their own toppings on it and make the bar and everybody loved it. I just think that's great. All right, so, but back to Kristen. Let me tell you a little bit about her uh, little story here. Uh, here's her before uh, with her and her husband and they, um, they, she's got a story. I don't know, Krista, are you available? Can we do her live or do we decide not to do that? 
<laughs> we're always changing our mind. We're not. Okay, we're not. Technically, we're not going live with Krista, but let me just tell you her story because she's an awesome treat to get to meet. And if those of you signing up for the program, I'll be leading the program, but you'll also hear a great deal from Krista too. But well, check her out. This is her family now. Uh, pretty amazing. And uh, real food, ladies and gentlemen, real food does this kind of thing for you. Um, just saying. And she's, um, she's a machine and she's changed my life. So I would like to, we can, um, I'll take questions in just a minute, but I wanted to just say that the one year program uh, we are doing a one year eat real program to help support people so that we can have more Tammies. And there's also CJ. I think CJ's on the line. She's lost 70 pounds, which is pretty amazing. Uh, has awesome before and after she's done great. And there's Matt and Sarah. I think they're on the line today and they're the 100 pound loss coupled together. So many great things. I, I'd like to say that eating real food is, if you've done the diet free program with me, this is a perfect next step. Uh, if you want to start with Eat Real, you can start with Eat Real. Uh, it's really right here. We're going to talk about the kitchen and the grocery shopping and the putting it all together. I'm really big on having three solutions for getting groceries. This is the Eat Real shopping list, which um, goes on your, your refrigerator. It's a pad that organizes your grocery shopping. So whenever you run out of something, you just whip it on the, and it's always here. Because I don't know about you, I was always losing my list, always losing my list. But we also do the grocery list in the cookbook for the whole like 28 day challenge. So we have grocery lists with our menus, but we also, also, um, we have uh, the grocery list on the website to eatrealamerica.com where we have over 1000 recipes. You can search on so much more. So the cookbook gets you started and the website keeps you going. And um, then our eight weekly webinars, which are going to be live right here from this kitchen, are going to start on Thursday. Thursday, 7 p.m., we're going to start with snacks and talk more about snacks. We just took, was the tip of the iceberg of how much more we can do uh, with snacks and making that awesome and great. So we'll be doing that. And um, the eight weekly webinars, we're going to do a whole night on Mediterranean, how to really cook Mediterranean, what does that mean, and get you fired up and cooking with so many great Mediterranean recipes, really. Um, starting with the roasted eggplant pasta, which is like, ma, so amazing. And your house will smell like a delicious Italian restaurant. So we will be taking you to new heights. We'll be talking about breakfast and all of that. Um, if there's anybody out there that you uh, have work sites and you're in charge of wellness, um, give us a call because we can bring this program to all your employees too. So it's, we can do it totally online. We can do it a variety of ways and um, it's life changing for your employees. And it really is the missing piece for a lot of wellness programs. They just don't have this, let's talk about the elephant in the room. And that's what our people are eating and what they're cooking and give them the skills that they need. And uh, we can really make a change in that. So there you go between Kristen and myself, we're a great team to really support you. And even though the eight weekly webinars, we were gonna do them one a month over the year program, but we decided no, we need to do them one a week and they're, they're recorded and then shared to you if you need to. Um, so you can watch it another time, watch them again, you'll have them for a full year. So don't think that we're gonna do all eight in a row, but that's to kickstart you and to get you going. And then we'll be in constant contact with 24 seven email support, uh, posting through the website and constantly coaching you every Tuesday and every Thursday with meal ideas. So those are the ideas, that's the program. How do I sign up if you wanted to join us? We have a group started already and we would love for you to join us. And if any of this sounds like, wow, if I really started doing this, I could really get control of my health and how I feel, then uh, I'd love to uh, be a part of that with you. So you just go to zenu.com. In fact, I'll email you the slides and I'll email you exactly to this link right here so you can go on and check it out. We'll ship you the materials and then the first eight webinars begins this Thursday, 7 p.m. So uh, I'd love to see you there and then enjoy the one year of support. Uh, we'll really be supporting you. And if you want to continue it, it's only $39 a year if you want to continue it beyond that. So it's a, a great way to go. Twice weekly coaching emails, thousand plus recipes, 24 seven online Q and A. So I think that that will put it all together for you. Um, oh yeah, here's CJ. I thought I had her in here. Um, 
CJ uh, down 70 pounds in one year. She also started the Eat Real program with Tammy and CJ both did in the same class. And uh, uh, I mean, look at that. She's wearing the same dress. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. CJ might even be on the call tonight. If you are, hi CJ, and thank you for sharing your success story. You've, um, she says it's the energy balls that we talk about the first night in snacking. Um, we use dates. If you don't buy dates and use dates, let me tell you, we have dates, baby. We buy dates, lots of dates, because dates are hugely high in antioxidants. Um, they're just amazing. So I would encourage you to, uh, to learn how to use dates. We turn them into so many different great energy bites. And uh, CJ says the energy bites really changed her snacking. And uh, we'll be talking about that Thursday night and so many more snack ideas too. Like I said, we'll go on forever and ever. And then, so I wanted to share Matt and Sarah, they're the 100 pound lost couple. And that's like really cool. And they'll be with us in the group as well. They're doing the Eat Real Online program starting Thursday night. Here's another difference. Tonight, it's a webinar and you can type things to me, but when we do the class, it will be a meeting, which means your camera has the option to be on and your voice, you can unmute yourself and say, hey, Zanya, I got a question. And it's much more interactive. But this is a webinar because we had um, over 200 people sign up, so uh, we can only go up to 200 on the other. So anyway, that's how that works. That's all my slides that I had for you. So let's go back to full screen. And um, let's just, I wanna take some questions. Is anybody, um, have questions for me. Let's see, we can scan through. What kind of cherries did you use for the cherry pie? They're called Montmorency, Montmorency dried cherries. I bought them at Meyer, but I also find small bags of them at Aldi, uh, but they do have sugar added to them because they're really tart if you don't. And I bought, I think it's five pounds. It's a box and it's a big bag. So they are a little bit sweet, but I kind of don't like them if they're not. Same with uh, dried cranberries. Dried cranberries get a big bad rap, but they're tons of antioxidants. And if they didn't have a little sugar on them, then you wouldn't like them. And we don't have to be zero added sugar. We can use a little added sugar to add really nutrient foods to our diet. So that's where added sugar should be used. Like sometimes a salad dressing, we'll be teaching you how to make really great uh, homemade salad dressings. And a lot of times I'll add just a little honey or, and if you hear my dog drinking water, it's not my dog, it's the dog we're babysitting, it's Scout. Um, but that's what that noise is. <laughs> it's not my husband lapping up water. Anyway, and uh, um, so there's some, some ideas. So anyway, the cherries, add a little bit of added sugar to dressing to make your, to just bring your salad dressing, uh, to make your salad addictive property food. That's what we're talking about. Hey. I got another really amazing, oh, we got a question from Lori. Lori says, love the cherry pie recipe. What's your suggestion for chocolate cravings? Great question, Lori, thanks for asking. First of all, I think I can decrease your chocolate cravings two ways down to minimum by having that fruit bowl and by having a lot of really nourishing real food. It shuts down a lot of times chocolate cravings. Okay, I'm just saying. Next, when you do get a chocolate craving, especially certain times of the month, um, it, if I have chocolate in my house, I crave it because I have it. And if I don't have it, I don't crave it. All right, so there's a little bit of that going on too. I want you to make your environment conducive for success if you're always looking at chocolate. If there's, you know, somebody says, oh, Zania, I just can't help but eat chocolate. And I'm like, well, where do you eat it at? At work. Well, is it at work? Yeah, there's a candy dish. I have a candy dish. And yeah, it's on my, on my, dish, on my desk at work. I go, well, could you replace that candy dish with, with a fruit bowl? Well, I guess so. Yeah, what a great idea. Anyway, chocolate cravings, I would encourage you to use dark chocolate. And when you start advancing to truly dark chocolate, and we do a whole session on desserts and dark chocolate and how to not be duped by different labels that aren't truly dark, because they'll say dark chocolate, like dove dark chocolate, soccer written across our forehead, because on the label, they, it's processed with alkali, which takes away the antioxidants, not as truly, truly dark chocolate. So you wanna have true dark chocolate. And when you have dark chocolate, at first it's bitter, 
and you're like, mm, it's kind of bitter. Uh, but pretty soon you get to where you like it. And then you, when you have dark chocolate, you're like, oh, I don't like dark chocolate. So that was one of my last uh, blog posts at zanya.com. If you look under blogs, you'll hear a whole big thing about how you can change your taste buds so you don't even like milk chocolate. So here's the question, Lori. Um, do you already love dark chocolate, Lori? Type that in. Can you tell me if you already love dark chocolate or is milk chocolate kind of your preference? And I'm not sure where your answer will be. I wish we could turn your microphone on and we could talk. That would be like way better. Um, let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Find an attendee. Ooh. My moderator is doing a good job. I think we'll find you. Hey, while I'm waiting for Lori's answer, until we find what she's going to say for her answer, is that I wanted to share about that the beverage thing. Um, when you, uh, one of the people on the line, uh, and that she said that she started doing this and she loves it. And it's really helping a lot of people in the family uh, get off soda cravings. It's replacing soda. And if you can use this to satisfy you and get you to where you are kicking the added sugars of a soda and just kicking it out of your life, let me tell you, uh, that's awesome. Because a can of soda or pop, has 10 teaspoons of sugar. You can only, women, you can only safely have six teaspoons. Men, you can only safely have nine teaspoons. A can of soda has 10. That's not safe. Okay, so, but if you can get rid of a can a day, that's 10 teaspoons. And in a week's time, that turns to like a cup and a half of sugar. A cup and a half of sugar in a week's time. So if this ruby or, or you can get to where you can replace it. So you, there's, this is natural sweeteners, but not natural sugars, but if you get rid of these added sugars that are in soda, this one and a half cups in a week, that adds up to, in a year's time, subtracting this much sugar, 75 cups, 75 cups of sugar. And if you're using one of these, a lot of people are using one of these, use one of these. This is like three quarters of a cup of sugar right here. And this would, you, it would be only three months and you would get rid of 75 cups of sugar in your life in three months. Oh my gosh. Or four months. I think it's four months. But one can a day a year, if it's two cans, it'd be two of these. If it's three cans, it'd be three of these. Do you get the idea? We don't need this added sugar. This is bad for the pancreas. Your pancreas is going, whoa, I got to make insulin for that. And I got to make insulin for that. I got to make insulin for that. And it's just plum tired. So I want to encourage you to get that hydration routine, feel great, and um, you get the idea about that. So there, Lori says milk chocolate is your preference. Okay. You know how they say change your story? And you may say, and never say never. And I just want to challenge you to buy 60% dark chocolate, not 70, not 80. That would be too bitter. You won't like it. I want you to try 60% dark chocolate. And because once we can convert your taste buds, and when you have dark chocolate, you're getting actually something good for you. And milk chocolate doesn't have it. It's been processed out and it isn't good for you. And it's addictive. You can't stop eating milk chocolate. Milk chocolate, they put they have the sugar content, the fat content, you just keep eating it and keep eating it. So you can keep living in that cycle of, I want it, I can't have it, how do I? But if you can get to where you're doing what we're talking about, the snacks ideas that I gave you, and then if you want to join our group, but you'll learn about these really cool other snack ideas next this Thursday, we're going to do more. But in the meantime, I wanted to just say that if you can try converting yourself to dark chocolate, dark chocolate is not really addictive. It's satiating and you get to where, oh, but it's not so sweet that you can't stop eating it. You can stop eating it or milk chocolate. You don't have that. So it changes your life. And my life was changed by a woman named Carol. Uh, she was my bookkeeper many, many years ago for my business. And she was a chocolate snob. If there was chocolate in the office, she was like, no, no, no. Do you have dark? Do you have dark chocolate? And she was like, I only drink, eat dark chocolate. And I was like, what a chocolate snob. You only eat dark chocolate? Like, and now I'm just like, I'm the nutritionist. And my bookkeeper who knew she wasn't a nutritionist. She taught me. She was living something so smart. So I'm a chocolate slab. I don't eat, I don't eat marked chocolate. And in fact, 
I, I have a horrible experience when I do. It tastes terrible. It tastes terrible. So I don't know how many of you can relate to that. And you may think I'm crazy, but we can do that. You can take charge of your taste buds. Um, it's, you know, our body isn't designed to eat the standard American diet that we're used to and the milk chocolate that we're used to. Um, we want to get back to like what nature, what nature wants. And, and I really think that we can do that. The other thing I was going to say about our chocolate craving is that you can make your own homemade granolas and you can mix together the cherries, this, and if you wanted to buy, try to buy some dark chocolate chips. Ghirardelli makes one. It's almost 60%. Um, and you can put a few of those dark chocolate chips in here and put uh, a few dried cranberries or cherries in there. And then when you eat that, you're getting a nut and you're getting a fruit and you're getting a dark chocolate, but it's a little bit sweeter because it's got a little bit of, of sweetened fruit with it. And that, I think, when you're having a chocolate craving, I would like to suggest you do that. That's my suggestion. In fact, I was working with somebody named Leslie and she's really healthy and fit, but she goes, I'm gonna tell you, I have peanut M&Ms. I have peanut M&Ms every day. And I was like, well, you know, you." It's got food colorings, which are really horrible for your body. And why don't you try? And I gave her a big bag of nuts and some dark chocolate chips and, and, and some dried cherries. Mixed those together, gave her a Ziploc bag of that. And she was like, I go, is this as good? You can have peanuts, you can have almonds. I go, is this just as good? She's like, it's just as good. Oh, like, Anna, it's just as good. It's getting out of that habit. It's, it's making your environment more natural, real food. So look to real food because I think real food can fix that chocolate craving. All right, Lori, I hope I answered that question. That was long-winded. Okay, do the materials for the group include a copy of the cookbook? Yes, they do. Uh, that's standard. And if you already have a copy of the cookbook, then when you go to the shopping, uh, you'll see, I want the program or I have every, I want the program minus the cookbook because you already have it. So you can buy it $20 cheaper by by and you cannot get the cookbook if you want. But we want to encourage you to have the cookbook uh, because it has all the recipes we're going to be making. But also every attendee gets a membership to eatrealamerica.com and all the recipes that are in the cookbook are also on the website. So if you're an electronics person and you don't like anything printed, you can buy the program without the cookbook and you'll have all the recipes at your fingertips on your phone or on your, on your laptop or your iPad because Chris is so amazing with the eatrealamerica.com website. Uh, I'm proud to be a member with her and to help support her with that amazing, amazing, amazing website. Love, love, love it. All right. Any other questions that would be good? Will this be offered in September? Spring and summer is a busy time for me. As a matter of fact, the answer is yes. I absolutely have it scheduled for summer. I don't have the dates in my head right at the moment, but it's... Um, we can I can put that in the email that uh, the summer dates. I have a summer class and then I will most probably do a late September and October class as well. So yes, if those times are better for you, I just hang on and keep in mind. And if you're on our email list, uh, you probably are because you found out about this. But if you're on Facebook, uh, the best really way to know what's going on in my life. Well, I put stuff on Facebook, but go to zanya.com and join my email list. And then I'll definitely make sure you know about it. Okay, thank you. Uh, that was a great question. I appreciate that. Terilyn says, will this be offered? Okay. Or um, could you also advise where to get the organic turmeric you use? Okay, great question. Um, well, Scott, I can remember to put the link, I guess, in the email we're going to send out. Um, I, get it, I go to Amazon. And if you search on organic turmeric, um, this is J-I-V-A, Jiva brand that I happen to like. I, I kind of price checked. I did a quick price check and I thought this was a really good value. And, uh, but I'll be happy to give you the link, direct link to that. Sure. Great question. All right. Does your pancreas react the same way to diet pop? Whoa. Does your pancreas react the same way to all sugar as to diet pop? There's a different negative thing and a different negative impact that is occurring from diet soda. First of all, blood sugar does not go like that when you drink a diet soda. It does not do that. But different chemical reactions are happening in the brain because your body's going, whoa, I had something sweet, I had something sweet. No, I didn't. Yeah, I had something sweet. No, I didn't. Yeah, I did. It's kind of like, um, and, and then we still have cravings to want to eat something sweet. That's what the studies show. So it kind of tricks us, but it doesn't work. So we think it's working, but it's not really working. 
The other thing, like I showed in that uh, slide and that I will be emailing out to you the links to it, is that we see increased risk of dementia. We see increased risk of stroke and we see bone demineralization. So different negative impacts. And so some people go, oh, I always knew it all along. I should drink regular soda instead. No, don't drink regular soda instead. Are you kidding me? Um, no, 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 no. Um, it's two evils. And okay, look at me. I have not had a regular or diet soda in over 17 years. Do I look unhappy? <laughs> In the Eat Real Cookbook, we have recipes for healthy pop. Healthy pop. And it's club soda like um, LaCroix or V at, uh, at Aldi um, or Captain or club soda. But just a club soda and you mix it with some juice and you add a squeeze of lime to it or other fruit, oranges, and it's just, it's healthy pop. And my son grew up on healthy pop. Uh, we never had pop in the house, and he's 20 years old now, and he doesn't drink pop and or soda, as you call it in the South. And it's, um, I'm really proud and happy of that for his taste buds. So I remember we went on one vacation one time, and when we go on a car trip, the rule is, is you can have anything you want, anything that you would like. You can go in the store, and it, we're on vacation. So he goes in the store, and they're like, how about some Oreos? yeah and my husband gets doritos yeah you know and uh <laughs> and and ridge is like and i want to get a pop can i get a pop too and it's like and i'm just like cringing right cringing and he's like yeah and so he's like goes to the pop and he's like coke he gets a coke so we get in the car and i'm just like oh my gosh i'm just like roll i'm just uh, okay i'm just like, uh -huh, yeah uh -huh, okay yeah and we get in the car and and we're going down the road and he opens up his coke And he looks at his dad and he goes, I don't like it. He goes, do you want it, dad? Dad goes, no, I don't want it. He goes, what do I do? He goes, just put the cap on it. We'll throw it out later. Okay. I'm in the back going. <laughs> so uh, thank you, Ridge, uh, for that. And to this day, he doesn't drink soda and I'm really happy about that. So um, that's an awesome thing. So, but we had healthy pop on holidays and we had company and even Ridge will, will be the bartender and make you up some healthy pop. <laughs> so, all right, what was any other questions that we have? How are we doing on time? We got three minutes, three minutes. Um, I uh, thank you so much for coming tonight. And if we have any other questions, instead of dried cranberries or cherries, could one substitute dried blueberries? You betcha. And I've got some right here in my cupboard that I bought. If I can find them, here's cranberries. Oh, my cupboard's a little out of control. Yeah, uh, the answer is yes. Okay, they're in there somewhere. They're in there somewhere, but here's dried cranberries. Yes, the answer is dried blueberries. And i looked online to see if they don't add sugar to them, but they do add sugar to them. But like I said, it's not a lot and you're getting so many antioxidants. It's really different when it's added sugar and you're getting nothing for it. But if it's helping um, you get something good like that, it's really okay. So yes, the answer is dried blueberries are outstanding. Thank you for mentioning that. All right. What are your thoughts on honey? I like a little honey in my tea. You know what? Uh, Chris and I, when we wrote Eat Real, we tried really hard to just use a little bit of honey, a little bit of maple syrup. And uh, the point is, it's the dose that makes the poison. <laughs> it's really the amount. You get, whew, keep doing that. You get five servings of, you get five teaspoons, ladies. You can have five teaspoons safely of added sugars. And if it's a little bit of honey, it counts in there, right? So it's not like honey is not an added sugar, it is. But if you can keep your added sugars to less than five teaspoons in a day, absolutely. You can use a little honey in your tea. Absolutely you can. I think that's uh, really fine. But I want you to really think about it. I mean, if you have sugar here, sugar here, sugar here. And I personally have learned to like unsweet tea. And learning to like unsweet tea is delicious. But I realize that not everybody can do that. 
but a little bit of uh, honey in, in your tea, I think is acceptable, but we want to look at everything in your day and make sure you're at five teaspoons or less. Okay, great. Next, what's the next question? Do you have anything additional for breakfast after your morning hydration routine? Great question. I absolutely am very big believer in breakfast, but I don't think you have to eat breakfast at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. I eat breakfast about 10. I realize that's, or even 10.30 because I have this and it, it fills me up. I mean, it absolutely fills me up. Uh, it, it's not calorie free. It's got a, anywhere from 80 to 120 calories in it. So it's something and it's a whole food. It's like I had four fruits, two fruits, two vegetables. And so I'll have breakfast a little bit later. Um, this Thursday we do snacks. The next Thursday we do breakfast. And uh, we're gonna talk about overnight oats. We're gonna talk about breakfast cookies, talk about um, muffin cups. We're gonna talk about eggs. Uh, I make all, I like all of it. So I like eggs, I like oats. We've got a variety. I love the variety. Um, one of the things that I didn't mention is that keto is, a lot of people are doing keto, but what we wanna do is take the benefit from keto, which is getting our sweet cravings down and getting our carbohydrates down. Like. I do, the, the Eat Real plan is low in carbohydrates compared to the standard American diet, um, but it's not as low as keto. And it's something the whole family can do and you all can enjoy. And that's a beautiful thing. And is it vegan? I don't think we have to be vegan. I've done it for 30 days. And while I learned a lot and respect vegans, I really think we can be healthy and include the right amounts of animal products. And I actually think we can have superior health uh, with a little bit of animal products. Okay, so next, um, Ravi is only available online, yes. And it's called Ruby, R-U-V-I. I'll send you the link. Um, again, if you wanted to, we can type it in the notes, Ridge, if you can type it in the notes, it's save15, go ruby.com, save, <laughs> save, you can't really see that, save15, go ruby.com. So Ridge is gonna type that in uh, the chat for you, and we'll send it in our email, a follow-up. Now, tonight was recorded, at least I think it was, and we're going to send you the link in case you wanted to watch it again. I, I know you do. You want to watch it again. I know you want to share it uh, with, with a loved one, <clears throat> and yeah, share it. Somebody say something. <clears throat> Um, all right. Anybody else? Do you have anything additional for breakfast? We talked about that. What are your thoughts on erythritol? I love erythritol. And in my cupboard, I do use it occasionally on a lot, quite a few things. Um, so yes. Monk fruit, uh, the Center for Science and Public Interest is not satisfied with the safety of monk fruit. So they express caution. And I think CSPI, the Center for Science and public health interest is honest and on top of it and says it like it is and they don't take advertising from anywhere and so I would caution you with monk fruit because they caution with monk fruit okay what's the other question sweeteners that are not NutraSweet Splenda and saccharin yes you want to avoid NutraSweet which is definitely aspartame you want to avoid that and you want to avoid Splenda Yes, the Center for Science and Public Interest says avoid Splenda and saccharin. You're right. You're smart. So I would caution with monk fruit, but I would absolutely say yes to erythritol. I know it sounds fake, and, but um, it's actually really high in antioxidants. And so, but everything in moderation. I want you to dial down your sweet, you know, acuity, your, your bliss point so that you like things less sweet and then just use a little bit of it here and there. So great. I think that's great. What do you think about Truvia? Truvia is a blend of, um, of stevia and erythritol. And I think also a little bit of sugar too, if I'm not mistaken. So it brings it down by one third to one third, it's two thirds less. And, um, and it's gonna give you the best flavor and performance. So yes, I think Truvia is a fine product. So if you'd like to use that, yes, indeed. Okay. Um, Anything else? I know we said we'd keep it to an hour, but I want to show you one more thing. And I wanted to show you, I'm sorry, my cupboards are out of control, out of control. Aha. And that is, uh, this is the brand of erythritol that I buy. And it is 
granulated uh, or you can buy powdered sugar. And I really like the powdered sugar version and I use it to make a cream cheese frosting. And it really cuts the sugar content and it tastes exactly like it. So I'm, uh, I buy this at Meyer. I don't know where you live, but pretty any grocery store has it or you can order it online. It's called Swerve. And I think it's safe. And I think it's a great idea for when you want something kind of sweet. So there you go. Truvia or the Swerve, I think is a great product. That one is straight erythritol. All right. Anybody else? Um, Stevia is good. Yes, I think Stevia is good. Um, so I think that's all the questions. If I missed questions, I'm so sorry. Um, I did my best. Uh, again, thank you for coming. And check out the link. Just think about joining us on Thursday, would you? Think about joining Krista and I for a full year with an eight-week kickoff every Thursday night. If you can't make every Thursday night, we record them and you can watch them at your leisure. And I'll tell you, I think we can help you and your family change your taste buds, get great delicious meals on the table and really revolutionize and tell your doctor who's boss. As Krista and I always like to say, uh, keep it simple and eat real. Thanks so much, everybody. I hope to see you next time. See ya Thursday, I hope. Bye.